was a critically acclaimed off-Broadway rock musical that was made into a film. I love, love, triple loved it. I saw it five times this summer, and I begged the creators to come on the show today. They said they would. Here to perform Wicked Little Town, please welcome the director and star, John Cameron Mitchell, with his co-creator and composer, Stephen Trask. John, I loved the film. Thank you. It was your first directorial debut, and it was brilliant. Wow, thanks. I mean, are you going to do more of it? Because I was, I, yeah. I have to say I was a little surprised. I loved the off-Broadway show, and I expected to love the movie, but I loved the movie. Wow, wow. I was really moved. I really was. Thanks. I, I, I'm moved by your being moved by it. <laughs> it was... It was, uh, you know, a lot of years. Stephen Trask, who was just playing piano there, and I worked on it for seven years, so it's, it's kind of putting it to bed now, letting everyone see it, putting the wig down, because, you know, I 
play play the character yeah. too and yeah Hedwig uh, who is a German male to female transsexual with a botched operation right. that left an angry inch yeah. down below yeah yes it's a family film it's a family film <laughs> exactly right it's, you know, it's a musical love story it's really more of a fairy tale i mean people that you know films like harold and maud yes being there cabaret those were like the modern fairy tales when i was growing up and this is kind of my homage to that kind of you know adult fairy tale i guess is really what it is now where did you come up with the original concept someone told me you had a babysitter i had a babysitter uh in kansas who was a german army wife a woman uh but later i realized we used to go to her trailer a lot me and my friend brenda and she had a different she'd give us drinks and we'd act out copacabana and other story songs of the day and she always had a different date every day. Yeah. And she never knew what they were going to look like right. before they came to pick her up. Yeah. And we were like, she's not even that good looking. She's so popular. <laughs> and later we realized she had a couple of jobs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, oh, we have a clip. This is Hedwig when when Hedwig falls in love with the army officer, has the operation in order to get back into the U.S. as the wife. Right. And then she meets uh, a young man who becomes her lover. She teaches him to be a rock star, and he steals all of her songs and becomes huge. Yeah. And she's performing in, in like a mall, TGI Fridays type restaurant next door to the stadium. Yeah. Where he's performing. And in like the middle of the, uh, the country. Right. Just total Midwest. Like Junction City, like Kansas. Right. Where I yeah. used to live. Yeah. Like a Beefsteak Charlie's for those of you from yeah. New York. That's where he's performing while the big star is at Madison Square Garden. Yeah. That's the clip we have. Open up your minds. Here it comes. <laughs> yeah. It took a character assassination piece like this to make you finally pay attention. But now you're interested, huh? Intrigued even? How did some slip of a girly boy from communist East Berlin become the internationally ignored song stylist barely standing before you. That's what I want to talk about tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I don't, I don't want to talk about sudden, undeserved commercial success. I don't want to talk about betrayal. I don't want to talk about my lawsuit against a certain <laughs> rock and roll icon. Tominosis. It, uh, John, I can't tell you how much I loved it. I really can't. You. you know, and there's some beautiful, beautiful lyrics in the in the uh, CD, which everyone in the audience is getting a copy. It's called Hedwig and the Angry End. It's still playing in yeah. movie. <laughs> Look at what happens. You know, what my happened? finger doesn't bend. Get that close up you just had on that camera. It looks like that's, I'm, that's terrible. I know, but there's nothing I can do about it. I just have to squeeze. Um, <laughs> And is it playing still in theaters? Yeah. It is. Still yeah. in theaters and soon to be on DVD. Yes. Yes. And buy it when it comes out. Go see it if you can. Thank you for being You're here. You're welcome. I can't wait to do you do another movie. Oh, thank you I very really much. I really can't. John Cameron Mitchell. We'll be right back with Jim Belushi after this.